Lenla Musanin is the former Minister of Finance of South Africa, appointed on May 25, 2014 and removed by President Jacob Zuma on December 9, 2015. He was previously the Deputy Minister of Finance in the Cabinet of South Africa from November 2008 to May 2014, and a chairperson of the South African Finance Portfolio Committee. He has been an ANC Member of Parliament since 1999. His home is in Kranskop, KwaZulu-Natal. He is considered the first black South African to hold the office. Education Neen holds a BCom Honours degree in Economics from the University of Western Cape. He also obtained a Diploma in Marketing Management DMS. An Advanced Diploma in Economic Policy from the UWC. A Certificate in Economic Policy from the University of South Africa. And a Certificate in Macro and Microeconomics from the University of London. He also attended a course in Evaluating Macroeconomic Strategies in 2000 at Williams College. M.A., U.S.A. He matriculated at Kothai Adult Center. Career Neen was active in student politics in the 1970s, and became a member of African National Congress Regional Executive Committee, Bambava Region where he became a chairperson of ANC Bambava Branch. He was a co-chairperson of Joint Budget Committee from October 2002 to August 2005 and a chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Finance from 2005 until 2008. He served as Regional Secretary of ANC Kalamba Region from 1997 until 2000 and as a chairperson of Kranskop Policing Forum from 1997 to 1999. He became ANC Local Government Councillor and Caucus Chairperson from 1996 until 1999 and Chairperson of Ntumjamalai Development Forum from 1994 until 1999. He became a Labour Union Shop Steward and led a negotiating team for better working conditions during the period 1990-1995 and he organised the first ever strike in the financial sector, under the banner of Seikouan while working at Metropolitan Life Insurance Company in 1990. He worked as a regional administrative manager for Metropolitan Life Insurance for 15 years. Political career, as a new member of parliament, Neen served on the Finance Committee, which Barbara Hogan chaired between 1999 to 2004. He has said he had a great deal of respect for her and her no-nonsense ways. Neen held the chair of the Joint Budget Committee and is currently a member of the ANC Regional Executive Committee for the Bambava Region. Previously he has held the position of ANC Secretary for the Bambava Region. As Chairman of the Portfolio Finance Committee, he has said that it is not proper for Parliament to be involved in process of drafting the budget, adding Parliament has an oversight responsibility with regard to the budget so, our effectiveness depends on how well we use the parliamentary process. In 2008 when Parliament passed legislation that would give them more control over budgeting, Neen expressed concern, stressing that utmost care should be taken that Parliament does not undermine macroeconomic stability. Earlier, he had been mentioned as a possible successor to Finance Minister Trevor Manuel in a possible Jacob Zuma-led ANC administration in 2009. In November 2008 President Gallimore Motlanth appointed Neen as South Africa Euro Unregistered Trademark S Deputy Minister of Finance. Neen replaced Jabu Malekati, who resigned after the recall of President Thabo Mbeki. Neen was appointed the new Minister of Finance on May 25, 2014. Neen's status as to whether he is either the first or the second black Minister of Finance of South Africa is disputed. Neen was hailed by financial analysts as a good finance minister who criticized several government spending plans, including a plan to build several nuclear plants. On Wednesday 9 December 2015 a little after 8 p.m., President Jacob Zuma issued a statement removing finance minister Lola Neen from his post. The presidential statement did not outline the reasons behind Neen's dismissal, a Euro OEI have decided to remove Mr. Lola Neen as Minister of Finance ahead of his deployment to another strategic position. Mr. Neen has done well since his appointment as Minister of Finance during a difficult economic climate. Mr. Neen enjoys a lot of respect in the sector locally and abroad, having also served as a Deputy Minister of Finance previously a Euro. The announcement claimed that Neen would be replaced by ANC backbencher David Van Ruen. 
markets reacted extremely negatively to Neen's replacement by Van Ruen, and South African Rand dropped as much as 5.4% against the dollar in a single day. Within a few days, Neen's predecessor Praven Gordon was reappointed as finance minister to replace Van Ruen. 2008 Chair Mishap in 2008 he became an online hit after a 26-second clip of him falling from a chair during a television interview was posted on the video website YouTube. The chair malfunction occurred while Neen was answering questions concerning Finance Minister Trevor Manuel's mini-budget on the program View from the House. On the video, the chair cracks audibly, causing Neen to wince, though he kept speaking. Twelve seconds after the cracking sound the chair failed catastrophically, causing Neen to fall backwards, his hands grabbing at the desk as the chair collapsed beneath him. Presenter Hayd Fitzpatrick managed to keep stone-faced as the camera switched quickly to her. The program then went to a commercial break while the producers ascertained Neen's condition. He was unharmed and the interview continued, with Neen in a different chair. The incident led to an apology from the South African Broadcasting Corporation after the clip was leaked onto the Internet and they are conducting an investigation into who leaked the video. SABC spokesman Kazak Ganyago called the event unforeseeable and an accident, adding that Mr. Neen must be applauded for being a true professional. He carried on with the interview after a short ad break. The clip has subsequently had over 25,000 views. The video was viewed 498,000 times on October 27, 2008. It has since been posted to a number of other viral video websites and social networking websites and has been the subject of discussions on various radio programs. Though Neen has said that the incident would not be good for his public image he later joked about it, stating that he had asked colleagues not to refer to his job title of chair of the committee whilst in his company. One colleague quipped that perhaps Neen should give up his chairmanship of the Portfolio Finance Committee to lead a standing committee instead. The story has been covered by the BBC and The Telegraph and Neen's office has been swamped by media requests since the incident. In response to the global media coverage, Neen stated he no longer wished to talk about the matter. He has denied that his weight was responsible for the chair's failure, saying I know I am heavy but I sit on these chairs all the time. It can't a Euro T be my weight. He indicates that his children have been teased about the incident at school by classmates. He has reportedly sought legal advice concerning his rights and options regarding the way the video was leaked. On October 29, 2010 Jimmy Fallon did a segment of the video called Remix the Clips on his late night show, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. It was featured again on July 12, 2012 in a segment called The Danger of Sitting on the Late Show with David Letterman, and on Sean McCorff's Mad as Hell on March 11, 2015. References External links, YouTube video of Chair Mishap, the video on Late Night with Jimmy Fall on website.